What's a football phrase? 31! 64! <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Mix It. My name is Julia Carley. You know what that means. It is cocktail time. This is a tailgating football edition, meaning we are reaching for that beer. We're gonna spice our beer up. We're gonna make a homemade jalapeno simple syrup, fresh pineapple, a little bit of lemon, little inch of chili powder on top. I just make the drinks. I don't know what to call them. That's what you're for. Leave your ideas in the comments below what you think this cocktail should be called. Now, last episode, that iced Irish coffee brew concoction I made up, well, Barb3 had a great idea. She named it the Smoky Irish Ice. Nice, Barb. I like it. So let's start by making our simple syrup. In this particular circumstance, you're gonna use twice as much sugar as you are water. So we have three quarters of a cup of water there. We're gonna turn this baby on and let it come to a boil. Don't look at it. All right, we're at a nice boil. Let's add our Demerara sugar and start stirring because you gotta make sure that it dissolves completely. That is all dissolved. We're going to add our jalapenos. Don't touch your eyes. Give that a little bit of a stir and we're just gonna let these boil down with that sugar water for about three minutes. So we've let our simple syrup steep with the jalapenos for about 20 minutes. We're gonna strain this now right into this jar because we're not gonna use all of this in one cocktail or two or three. So you can store this in the fridge and save it for later. You can see that nice, thick Demerara syrup. I like just to throw one or two of these jalapenos that have cooked down into my syrup. And we are going to go ahead and store this in the fridge, let it cool down just a little bit. So here we go, are you ready? We're going to just slice our lemon in half. Give it a little roll. Now, we muddle. It's like a huddle, but we muddle. So I have some nice fresh pineapple chunks right here. We're gonna squeeze our lemon. Now I like my shandies to be lemony. So I'm gonna use about an ounce and a half or an entire lemon, if you will. Now we're going to get our jalapeno simple syrup. We're gonna do one ounce, play with that. Add more, add less, whatever you like. Oop, there's one of my jalapenos right there. Oop, you know what, hey, why not? We'll get that little guy in there. I like it spicy. All right, are you ready? We really gotta get in on that muddling action. All right, that's looking good to me. Next up, Let's grab our frosty mugs. We're going to strain what we just muddled up into our frosty glass. Just sort of mash it down, you can get all the juice out of there. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of tequila. Now, I chose a reposado tequila. So this has a nice oakiness, almost like a caramel sort of flavor to your tequila. We're just gonna use an ounce, an ounce and a half, to finish it off. We need our beer. I chose a pale ale, not an Indian pale ale, not an IPA, but just a pale ale. A little citrusy, has a little touch of pininess. This one was just right. Um, I'm gonna warn you though, pour slowly, because when it interacts with the pineapple, it gets foamy. Look at that rich amber color coming off of that. Now it's garnish time. We're gonna take a little stabby, throw our jalapeno, throw that on the top, and then the extra point comes right here with a little bit of ancho chili powder right on top to really get that kick. I'm going in. This is really good. Nice citrus notes and that burst of fruity flavor from that pineapple totally comes through. That ancho chili on the top, you breathe it in a little bit, I might have like a little ancho chili mustache right now. It's cool, it's totally fine with me. It gives it that nice smokiness. I love the Reposado tequila in there because now it's nice and round. And of course, that simple syrup that we made with that Demerara sugar, that is the key. 